You know, it is something that's absolutely abnormal. I've been living on this planet over 70 some years. And for at least 70 of these years that I can remember, it's been hell on earth. It's been people arguing with one another, black people that are with black people, white people that are with white people, business that are with business, schools that are with schools, religious institutions that are with other religious institutions. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Doesn't make sense at all. Hatred, racism, bigotry, all of that stuff. I mean, I'm talking about just in my lifetime. And when I read some books, some of the books got some truth in it. And they tell you about some crazy things that's been happening in the past. And yet, this is stuff is happening. And I sit here as I make this presentation. Having gone through all of this stuff having lived through all of these organizations that are set up to make things better, to listen to all the stuff about God and Jesus and whoever else you want to talk about. And even today, my grandkids, my great-grandkids, are having to go through the same thing now that I'm going through, that they're, oh, wow, people a long time ago went through. And guess what? Even at today, you got people sitting up, planning, strategizing, thinking about stuff worse than what we've lived in the past and think that people are going to go back to that. People are not going back to that crap. This world will end before people go back. It's all about people being satisfied. And the world was made to satisfy everybody. The only thing that's keeping it is the people from happening. The people. And that's because nobody wants to honor the true power. The true power we cannot see, we can't touch, we can't feel. All we have is the evidence of the true power. And knowing that, we give our power, not to the true power, but we give it to the fake power. The fake power is man. It's some man. It doesn't matter what color he is, what nationality he is, what religion he is. It doesn't matter about any of that crap. Any man trying to be the God. It's going to have it set up. It's going to work for some and it's going to work against others. Not only that, as it works for some, it's going to work better and better and better and better for some. And as it would work worse for some, it's going to work, work worse, 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 worse and worse for some. That's man. And the challenge is for human beings to wake up to grow up and recognize that the only thing is real, the only thing that's real is the power that we can't see. That's the only thing that's real is the power that we can't see. And the evidence is the stuff that we do see. And what holds it together is how you treat it, how you respond to it. And what destroys it it's how you don't treat it or don't respond to it. And you got the whole picture of God and you got the whole picture of man. I realize you lived in the world just like I have. And you want to have a really, really nice home. You want to have a really nice car. Yep. You want to have your, your home fixed up just like you dreamed it. Car just like you dreamed it. You want to have the kind of job that you just dreamed? Wow. And you want to live in the kind of environment that you want to live in? Wow. And you want to be free and at peace? You want the things that you 
want, the things that you need and desire. You don't want to have to struggle for nothing, and you don't want to have to be going through any changes. That's every human being on the face of the earth. And the only way you can get that is by listening to the power that you can't see, God. You can listen to the white man, the black man, or, or any other man, or a woman or any other woman. You can listen to any religion or any other religion, and you're going to be screwed. Every individual is going to have to listen to God. You're going to have to listen to God. Every individual has to listen to God. And if you're not listening to God and you call yourself following somebody, you better be guaranteed that that person is listening to God. And if you're listening to a person that's listening to God, it ain't going to take you long. You will be listening to God as well soon. Because, yes, all of that stuff I just got through naming, God prepared that if you want that, you can have that. A beautiful infrastructure. You can even travel around in the galaxies. God has enabled us to even do it. Do that. Who knows? You might be able to just dig a place down in the earth deep enough and find a way to just, man, what, what you call them things? Tunnels. Might find tunnels down there of generations of worlds before where people just lived in tunnels. You know, you never can tell what you can do or what God has prepared us to do based upon what we are inspired to do. But we ain't listening to God. We're listening to Donald Trump, the megas. We're listening to Republicans or conservatives who think they got it. They want to be God in America. And everybody else be subject to them. Or they're ready to go and kill them and herd them up and put them in gangs. In, not gangs, put them in tents. Or take them to what it, one, one tell them obey some old place. I, I know I'm not saying it right. But what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, is this is what man got for you. This is what I'm saying to Americans. What? The mega, you hear them talking, they don't hide it anymore. They're telling you what they want to do. They're telling you and they're asking Christians and everybody to join with them because they're going to take over and if, if they get the okay from the rest of the people. And then they're threatening people that if you don't come along with them, they're just going to open my war on you anyway. What does that say to you? And then you sitting up trying to debate who you should support. Should you support somebody that's helping you to live or should you support the one that's threatening to kill you if, if, if you don't become that whore? Ladies and gentlemen, it's a sad day in the world. Now I realize in parts of the world things are going on that make America look sick is, is so much beautiful, much more beautiful. And at the same time, there are things going on in the world that no human being want to find themselves in. All of that stuff is happening. And it doesn't matter whether it's the best world or the worst world. Those of us in between are doing nothing. We're accepting it. We keep our minds on any and everything but caring about one another making sure that we don't get screwed, making sure that people in the East don't get screwed, in the West don't get screwed, in the North don't get screwed, in the South don't get screwed. Nobody gets screwed because we're human beings and we're not going to allow that crap to happen. And who, where do we get that from? We didn't get it from men because men don't think like this. I don't think like this. But there is a power that I can't see that thinks like this. Why? Because I'm allowing that power to guide me and to say the things that I don't normally say and you don't say. Well, I might as well stop it there. If I said anything, I've said it. If I haven't, I haven't. Have a good day.